Hello there. Um, welcome back to another tutorial I want to show you now on Reason 9.5 and the VST integration. Uh, I want to show you how I can modulate a VST synth uh, knob, for example, a cutoff or resonance with the CV um, impulse uh, from, in this case, from the matrix. Um, so let's build it from start change the whole thing so um first of all i'm i'm choosing i'm choosing a pad from in this case diva you can hear it so um first of all i want to make a loop um so just normal just a normal chord so next one um, I want to load uh, the matrix sequencer inside this rack so for, uh, change uh, uh, I want to go into the back um, and you can open the CV programmer from the VST rack uh, if you click here on the back on the on the arrow so um, hold shift and drag a matrix pattern sequence inside so it doesn't auto connect um, with the VST rack. Uh, then I want a spider splitter, a CV splitter. Uh, also hold shift and drag it inside. Now connect the gate CV into split A because I want to split the signal into modulation CV1 CV2 or maybe CV3. Um, the node you can split into B and make this 4 and 5. So back again to the front. Um, um, I hit learn and then I um, push the cutoff uh, fader. And here I push learn and I want the resonance. <clears throat> now you see the values are still corresponding to the actual value on the VSD on the Diva. So uh, if I push, uh, if I play the whole um, chord, I ch can change the value from here. Let's it's good because now uh, if I draw something inside into this lane, you see that um, already the resonance and the cutoff is uh, jumping around. Uh, you can change the amount of jumping with this one here, with this. Button. So the control voltage is um, the the CV input is controlled by the mount and through the parameter and then the base value you choose. You can still change it. Okay. Th this is really cool because you can make really gated modulation sounds from that. Um, what I also want to do is, um, on the back, we have the note into the split B. So B is going into 4 and 5. So 4 and 5, I want to 4 to learn this, this VCO. Um, and now I will show you the value is jumping when the note is oh, the note is jumping when you um, change the note position and this is yeah this is good because you make uh, you can make really great modulation uh, 
things out of that. So this is just one matrix pattern sequence. Uh, you can change the speed. You can change the pattern. Back again. So and uh, from that you can do really fast some modulation effects um, and um, I will make an, another tutorial about how to change um, maybe a, a lot of different parameters. For example, you can make another matrix uh, sequencer and change in, in the whole um, volume level, the amplifier from this. Uh, so let's take a look how it sounds, maybe. Um, so again, shift and gate. So on eight, so it's the last one. I hit learn um, the output. And now I should have kind of a stutterer, a gate input. Um, let's make this here. So. Mm. Cool, huh? And you don't need to... Um, you don't need to, to start it that hard, so you can... You can make rhythmic patterns just with the old-school matrix pattern sequencer. It's really heavy tool. Um, with just a pad sound, you know, you like the pad sound, you want some rhythmic, you don't have, you don't need to use any special effects about stutterer or beat tweaker or something like that. You just need this one here. So, um, okay, I hope you like, oh, uh, what I want to mention is, if you make this CV gate uh, style. Mm, what you can do is, for example, this one here. Um, I want to modulate right now. For example, I hit the automation button and the output. So I got here the automation lane and uh, I draw a lane here inside. Um, and I make this lane just like a rise and the next one will be not automated. So you will see that um, the automation is overriding the CV input. Okay? Only from the output volume level. And now it's still working. Okay, so this is great because you can still make your automation um, and this is the priority is on the automation you are writing or um, um, uh, with a pencil or maybe with a, a knob on your hardware controller. Uh, and later on there is uh, still the CV input voltage and the, the other modulation. And this is great because you can make a rise um, if you want or a fall, I don't know, maybe some some kind of bridge into the chorus or so and um, and yeah you can build this whole songs and parts with it. So I hope you like it, have a nice day and make music. Goodbye.